In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building. On that day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day of the Son of Man is revealed. On that day someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus speaking today about the end times, um, when we're really called from this life, and to be prepared for that. And he gives examples of uh, Noah in his days. Noah was prepared. He built the ark. He was righteous. He lived a good life. Everybody else was oblivious, eating, drinking, and marrying, and so on, and they were destroyed. And the same with Lot. Lot left Sodom and, uh, and was saved, and, and everybody else was kind of still oblivious, caught up in all the worldly activities, and they were destroyed. So similarly to us today, I see that even with uh, the, the pandemic and the, the elections and the chaos and all of that, I see as sort of a separation between two groups of people. Some people are, have gotten more devout. They, they, they've grown in their faith, they are, they've grown in their, their love for Jesus, and they, they've, they've um, reformed their lives. They've let go of things that are worldly, that are not important, that are sinful, and they've lived a, more holy, a, holy, a holier and a more devout and faithful life. Meanwhile, others are kind of going the other way, going into sin and worldly things and <clears throat> pride and anger and all that stuff. So I see a separation. Um, um, between two groups. Um, there's more of a division, there's more of a separation now than before, I would say. Um, a friend of mine who's, who goes to Mass at one of the parishes nearby, she said that, you know, after the election, um, there were more people at Mass. <laughs> there were more people at Mass. And so, um, um, I think you go, and, and, and her, her, her understanding is that, you know, People saying, okay, this is a serious time um, and that we need to pray and that we need to uh, turn to the Lord and um, because we, we, we need his help. So, um, so let, let us too, you know, join the right crowd. Let us turn to the Lord. Let go of worldly things. Just like Jesus said, you know, we don't have to live in panic or in worry when God is going to call us, but we live with this quiet confidence, this quiet peace, knowing that we're doing God's will, knowing that we're doing everything we can to live righteously and, and holy and, and be pleasing to God. <clears throat>